All right, let's talk NBA and your career. Is there any portion of your game that you want to improve on next season? Um, offensively, I just want to be a better scorer, more assertive. I think um, I'm at the stage in my career now that I just have to take over a little bit more. Welcome to what should be a great Saturday night for the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and from the sideline, as always, our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. Also stopping by our program, one of the great point guards in NBA history, Kenny the Jet Smith. I love the nickname, the Jet, by the way. Man, appreciate the shout-out, and you know you're the guy well, who I, brought it back a lot. Well, it really right. happened in high school, right, It though? happened in high school, but no one called me in high school, college, until the NBA. He shouted it out. And now it's stuck like fire. Now, no, I can't go anywhere. And they're like, Jet, Jet. And I'm like, Kevin Harlan started the But fire. you love that. But you love it. Oh, but he, the name is evolved. Now it's private Jet. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's <laughs> PJ. <laughs> no, it's actually prop play now. <laughs> I, don't fly, I don't fly much. <laughs> oh, look at San Diego's starting group. They've got Jones. Chris Middleton is out there with John Collins. Then there's Murray. And it's Trent in at the two guard. Trying to take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. Looking at the top five picks in the 2018 draft, Kenny, all of them have shown good uh, play, tremendous promise. But uh, if you could choose one for your team, which one would it be? Oh. I mean, you, the Doncic and Young and yeah, Jackson, Jackson and Aiton. And, uh, if I had to go I mean, over and pick it now. I mean, there's so many of them. Man, I'm going straight with Doncic. I mean, there could be only one. It's yeah. not even close. Yeah, the Doncic is Dante. the only guy on that list that, when it's all said and done, he's got a chance to be a top 10 all-time player. Yeah, you know what he reminds me of? A, a more aggressive that left shrimp. Ooh, I, I, take, I think even more than that. I, I, to me, he's a combination. I heard Larry and Magic. He's a combination of Larry and LeBron. Because, okay, I can see that. Magic wasn't like the score. Mm. That those two are like those right. guys are scores. Right. Yeah, I get it. And then great passing ability. And the other thing about him, he's a better athlete and he's a tremendous rebounder. I mean, that guy is special. special. Oh, here's Randall. Kicks it out to Gordon. Just four to shoot. Oh, good on the triple. And here's Collins. He'll bring it up for San Diego. It's a three point game. The shot's good. I like that. Collins playing under control, reading the floor. Nice setup there. Curry against Murray. Now here's Curry. He's tightly guarded. And the pass to Gordon. Back to Curry. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by San Diego. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Murray, good. Given Murray's slight frame, you think physical defense would bother him more. It doesn't. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. I was able to talk with the head coach of the surf. Their emphasis will be focusing on slowing down Julius Randle in the paint. The coach said he's always been a great finisher, and we have to respect that. So we can't let him get comfortable down there. It's a big task when Randall gets himself going. Guys? Thanks, David. Here's Murray. The Clippers getting the bucket. Kennard with the rebound. Kenny, your teammate, Akeem Olajuwon, a lead on both ends. Who do you think is the best all-around big man in the game right now? Well, as, as, as great as Akeem was, you know, Shaq was probably just the greatest ball handler as guys today. You know, you think about that, like Giannis and Embiid, those two come to mind. They probably would have gave it to Shaq, but he would have had a shot. <laughs> Anytime you can get Randall moving toward the rim, that's a good thing. Murray, the pass to Trent. Kennard against Middleton. And it's sent back by Turner. That's a two from Kennard. And it's John Collins with the rebound. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the serve. They trail by three. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Curry against Murray. 
Here's Randall, and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Randall's got six. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Passes it to Middleton. Pass to Jones. Back to Middleton. Over Randall. Shots good by Middleton. And just about every one of Middleton's shots is a smart one. Even for mid-range, he's not going to force anything. Jones against Curry. Randall down low. He has six. And the rejection by Collins. Excellent feel and timing. Collins does a good job of protecting the rim. Shot clock at three. Curry from deep three-point land. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. Kenny, so much can happen on draft night. What was it like for you the night you were selected out of North Carolina, number six overall? It was interesting because I wasn't sure if I was going to Sacramento. Really? Because I had, I interviewed for everyone else in the top ten, basically, except for me. And they took me without an interview. And, and that surprised me. Um, very, very, not very often, Greg, in life, you get a job without an interview. Yeah. Well, I got that one. A high paying <laughs> job. A high paying no, one at No that. less. <laughs> Josh Jackson's checked in for San Diego. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. I tell you, at 6'8", Jackson is a more than capable scorer on the inside. Great at getting close to the rim and just finishing with the soft touch. Now, here's Kennard. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Turner with it. Now guarded by Middleton. And he comes up with the deuce. When Kennard is that set up, he almost can't miss. Such a skilled shooter. And here is Murray. Middleton outside. And the three off target. There was a mix up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Here's Murray following the basket by Stephen Kerr. Pass to Middleton. And with great positional size, Milton knows how to do damage down low. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. And San Diego will go with a different look here. Clippers leading by four to the paint. And it's blocked. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Over the last few years, Jet, the, the step back three has become a staple for some guys. Who do you think is the most consistent with it? Harden and Doncic, easily. You know who started the Dutch step back? Guy named, the first time I ever saw it was Kiki Vanderbilt. Yeah. Oh, really? I never saw a step back until he And played. it was quick. Yeah, he used to do a quick step back. And I'd never seen the step back move ever in my life before. And I was like, what is that? Is that a walk? He was like, no, it's a step back. And now we got the step to the step to the step to the step to the step back. The side back. And, we, <laughs> and what's going to be the next development? Well, you're just going to be able to run and you don't have to do yeah. <laughs> We're seeing that right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Claxton with the bucket. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Ball feeling it out a bit. Bull with it, working on Collins. Bull can't hit, poked loose, and stolen by Bull. Over to the wing. They get it again. O'Neal tanked in off the glass. And the Clippers lead by four. The tenacity on the interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. Now the pass to Claxton. Here's a Kobo. To the inside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. 
Yeah, good job to take it right at the knee. This is his first free throw of the game. And both free throws good for Thomas. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Ball, the pass to Horton Tucker. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. That's a shot the defense looked like it was willing to give up. Big mistake. Here's a Kobo. No points in the game yet for him. Passes it to Claxton. That one, no good. Excellent D there from Ball. And they have a narrow edge here in rebounding early on, and you wonder what kind of a role that's going to play moving forward. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. Danny, when you first came into the NBA, your coach was one of the all-time greats. Bill Russell in Sacramento coaching that time the Kings. Was it intimidating for you at all? Yes. It wasn't intimidating because of his basketball stats. I was more intimidated because of his social consciousness yeah. stature, of who he was as, you know, knowing Malcolm X and Martin Luther King and that. I was like, whoa. He was telling me stories so, so casually. So, you know, Martin and I, like Martin, Martin who? Martin Luther Martin King. Martin Lawrence? Yeah, like, he's like, Malcolm and I. Oh, Malcolm in the middle? No. Yeah, no. Malcolm X. So I'm like, wow. That blew my mind. Los Angeles making a switch here. Corbis checked in. To the middle. Here's Bull. And no good. So San Diego will take it the other way. Thomas against Corver. Here's a Kobo. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Ball finds Corver. Now Bowl. And it's tonight. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. But they get it back. Jackson misses. On the wing, Corver over Thomas. Los Angeles with another miss. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. Collins. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And Jackson is a terrific passer at that forward position. Fantastic at setting the table for his guys. Here's O'Neal. The rebound by Akobo. San Diego trails by five. Jackson has the open look. And a miss there on the triple. So for San Diego, their last game, a win against Denver. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Three from the inbound. Collins grabs the miss. And it's a Kobo with the ball for the surf. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Thomas. Latrey nailed from three-point land. Thomas got five. Thomas gone one of three from three-point land. Here's Ball. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The Clippers have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. Nine seconds left to play here in the first. Here's Trent. From deep. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. It's been all about Stephen Curry for Los Angeles. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific best. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. You can do everything else right, but if you fail to take care of the defensive glass, you're killing your chances. All
fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. Setting the floor for the Clippers. O'Neal is out there with Kyle Korver. Then it's Ball. Then there's Bull. And it's Mannion in at the two. With the teardrop, they get it back. Trent passes to Okobo. And they convert it last on attempt number three. Okobo's got his first points of the game. And here's Korver from the arc. It's hauled in by San Diego. Kenny, not too long ago, shooting threes well beyond the arc was frowned upon. But Steph Curry's success, Damian Lillard's success has kind of changed that mindset. Well, there's no one like Steph Curry. You know, Trey Young is close, but no one on a consistent level in high-pressure situations is like Steph Curry. Uh, but the new long-range three is here to stay. And, and the thing that it's done is it's made the court bigger. We used to it was on the competition committee, and we used to we were trying to figure out ways to make the court bigger, like literally making it bigger. And you know what? It got made for us by shooting because now, now in our era we guarded at 22 feet. You got to guard at 35, 37 feet now, and which means you get less help. Timeout called here. The serve will talk it over. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Bull. Ando comes in for O'Neal. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Kyle Korf. And Steph Curry is subbed in for Ball. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Curry with it. Now guarded by Middleton. Kennard shot is off. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Middleton on the wing. Kennard covering. Snatched up. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Miles Turner. For San Diego, they have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. That one drops. He ties it up. And here's Los Angeles. Curry looking it over. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Now here's Jones. Inside, Collins. And finish off by Collins. 
I mean, that's a nice find by Murray. He has the height to see the floor, and his awareness continues to grow. And officials have been more vigilant, guys, whistling the travel violations that we see. At the same time, the league revising the rule book to clarify the gather step when players terminate their dribble. Kenny, in that regard, do you like the way the game is being officiated right now. What is a gather step? Either you're walking or you're not. Well, it would seem that way, wouldn't it? Either you're moving or you're stationary. The, the gather step's always been there, though. It's just, honestly, a lot of guys didn't have the ability to, and didn't know how to master it. Iverson was the first guy that I saw that had mastered the gather step. And that's, to me, it's just kind of the it's evolution. walking in my book, Greg. It's still No, no, it's, it's you gather it. You get that extra. It's basically, it gives you a half a step. I'm old school. Let's walk it. You're old. Yeah, and oh, you no, didn't no. finish school. <laughs> <laughs> Out to the right wing. Five to shoot. Cohen's finds Jones for a three. Middleton, and that comes off the assist by Jones. Middleton's got the lead up to two now for San Diego. And here's Curry who brings it up for Los Angeles. And Jones sends it back, and he's able to get it back. Randall no good. Middleton with it. Picked up by Turner. Wide open look here for Murray. Another three for San Diego. The percentages from range aren't there yet for Murray, but his confidence never seems to waver. And it's slammed in by Turner. Going to the rack with energy and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. In a close game like this, everything has to be challenged and everything has to be earned. Now, how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Los Angeles calls timeout. Gordon's check in for the Clippers. Clippers trail by five. Outside Curry. There's the triple. A three pointer is right on target. Curry's got 11 points. And it's been said we're witnessing the golden era for lead guards. Kenny, do you agree with that? And if so, is it the players or the style of play that's key? I don't know if it's the golden era because I think, but it is a great era. The, but the NBA, is, that is the toughest position because you can have a bad team, but you're going to always see a great ball. And that's always been the case. Uh, you know, even in our era, if I was playing against the Dallas Mavericks, they were terrible at the time, and Keem would go, well, you got to play against Jason Kidd. Yeah. Yeah. And so it, it's always the position in game. And so you got Westbrook, you got CP3, you got Trey Young now, you got the young, the old, you got every. It's always the toughest. Pocket six. Launches it. That one doesn't go. So Los Angeles will take it the other way with the ball out guarded by Murray shots good by Kennard a knockdown shooter with excellent range Kennard gives your offense the floor spacing it needs Collins passes to Trent back to Collins from down in the low post it goes and that's now six points for John Collins they double team Curry and Gennard wide open. He shoots and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. Here's Trent. He's got six. Murray outside. He dishes it to Collins. San Diego moving the ball around. Here's Trent, and it's sent back by Turner, and they're able to recover. Trent can't hit. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Curry against Murray. Count that as his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there.
I just love this kid's fearlessness. Goes right at him. Draws contact. It doesn't matter to him. Randall down low. Working on Collins. Now, here's Kanon. Defended by Middleton. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So, one free throw coming up. And Los Angeles with some changes. Bowl, he's checked in for Randall. Kevin Herter comes in for Eric Gordon. And Bowl subbed in for Steph Curry. That free throw, good from Kanon. The shot shooter Kennard is valuable. A guy who stretches the floor and works very hard. Here's a Kobo. The step back jumper is good. Akobo's got four points this quarter. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Here's Herder. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And the shot goes down. And the Clippers lead by three. A big like Turner just using that height inside. It's almost a lost art. Kennard against Thomas. Pass to Claxton. From the arc. And it's a Kobo missing. Clippers leading by three. In the corner, Kennard with it. Outside, ball. Back to Kennard. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got assist number seven for him tonight. San Diego trails by five. Here's a Kobo. Got a hand on it, but he stays with it. Just five to shoot. And here are the Clippers. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Herter passes to Bull. Plays it up and banks it in. And now a seven-point Los Angeles lead. And don't look now, but they're starting to extend this lead. They're doing it by building it out step by step, valuing each possession. Pass to Okobo. Jackson with it from downtown. Rebound by the Clippers. Turner's got his fifth rebound in this one. And what about our special guest? Kenny, thanks for taking the time to join us, dropping by. Always a pleasure. You add so much to the broadcast. Man, thanks for having me. This is just great. Thank you. And what an experience it was, Greg, to have Kenny joining us. You always know he's going to give you his honest opinion, which makes him so great. Kevin, and throughout his playing days and now as a broadcaster, Kenny has never pulled any punches. He, he'll tell it to you like it is, and that's one reason and he is so beloved. Collins checked in for John Collins. The pass to Claxton. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Yeah, they've gotten into a nice flow this quarter. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They lead by seven. Here's Ball, and the dunk by Ball. That's just too easy for Ball. Once he gets the right position, his focus there is on the finish. There's 38 seconds left to play here in the half. Thomas gets the bucket. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. It's deflected. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. You love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. And San Diego making a change here. Murray's checked in. And Herter gets it to go. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Passes it to Claxton. Back to Jackson. Jackson throws it down. Just no denying his athletic ability. J Jackson, whenever he sees a chance to attack the rim and make a statement, he doesn't waste any time rising up. 
and the first half is now in the books. Clippers ahead. They're up by seven. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And rejoining us here at the table. Hey, he's back, Kenny the Jet Smith. Kudos to you, sir, for your sharp and incisive analysis. And it's just about time now for the third quarter. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. San Diego trails by seven. On the court for the surf. They've got Collins. He's out there with Jones. Chris Middleton is out there with Murray. And it's Trent in at the shooting guard. Middleton. Oh, that's blocked. Not a traditional rim protector. Rando gets by on effort and instinct. Curry kicks to Kanaw. Back to Curry. All sorts of time. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got six rebounds now in the game. The shot by Middleton, wide open. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Middleton's got it going here in the start of the second half. The first points in the third quarter for San Diego. Gordon dishes to Randall. It falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Murray against Curry. Middleton on the wing. The surf with a new 14. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. Here's Randall. Looks good. Is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Pass to Middleton. Over Kanar. Another miss by Middleton. Ugly start to this half. Hitting just 20% from the field. Gotta pick it up. And that one, good. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Murray surveying the D. Here's the floater. It's rebounded by Curry. Los Angeles leading by 10. Near the three-point line, it's Gordon. Here's Randall, and Randall throws it down. You want to talk about bully ball? Randall at 250 pounds, overpowering the field. And San Diego calls time here. And a hey, physical presence is former Kentucky Wildcat Julius Randall. But, but he's got some mobility to go along with it, able to move and attack in transition. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Murray with it. Nine points in the game so far. It's good, and the Clipper lead has got down to just 10 points on the bucket for Middleton. You know, people have uh, talked about Julius Randle's game. He's a power driver, isn't he, Greg? I mean, the guy just bulldozes all the way in. I, I like that phrase, Kevin. You know, very fluid for his size. A pretty good ball handler and passer. I think his shooting is where he's still filling in the gaps. Here's Randle. In for another field goal. A sublime 9 of 14 on the night. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Middleton the pass to Jones. Here's Trent. Shoots from 12. Randall against Collins. Yep, that one goes. Collins has got eight. No matter where he is on the floor, Collins seems to invite contact. Curry against Murray. Curry passes to Gordon. Here's the three. The shot, no good. And the serve will come the other way. Murray dishes to Middleton. Left side, Collins. Collins. 
down low. Here's Murray. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. 11 points for DeJounte Murray. It's Curry with the drive. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Here's Trent, defended by Gordon. Here's Trent. Six points for him. Five on the clock. Right wing. Collins wide open. He fires. Drains it from beyond the arc. Collins has got five points now this quarter. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. And Jones over to help. Kennard, the pass to Curry. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Kicks it out to Gordon for three. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jones. And the Clippers making a change here. Corbers checked in. And San Diego making a change here. Here's Curry with the three. He doesn't hit that one. Murray with the defensive effort. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing under control. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Curry gets to Corbin. Outside Gordon. to Corver. Shot clock at five. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Corver's got himself on the board with three there. And Murray's got the ball here for the serve. It's a five-point game. Pass to Middleton. In the corner, Collins with it. Back to Middleton. Shot from the top of the key. The Clippers grab the miss. Randall's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Corver finds Randall. Back to Corver. Beyond the arc. Rebound by Murray. San Diego trails by five. A 15-footer again, San Diego. Very hard guy to match strides with. Also, Murray varies his pace, and he can stop on a dime. Curry passes to Randall. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Randall's got 10 points here in the second half. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. San Diego with some changes. Nicholas Claxton comes in for John Collins. And it's Matt Thomas in for Chris Middleton. Ball, the pass to Horton Tucker. And Thomas over to help. For the three, connects from three-point range. Horton Tucker's got eight points. And at 7-2, Bowl has incredible vision, including noticing when his teammates are open. And it's Murray with the jam. Now, that's what I call a momentum changer. Yeah, when you've got a point guard, that kind of spring, no lead is safe. You're totally right. That can be a shot in the arm for them. A spark that turned things around. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Los Angeles shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. And Kevin Horter, a young player and a big part of this team's future. He keeps trying to add to his game. And the area I love that he's improved, I think, the most and needs to is his ball handling. Doesn't have to only look for shots outside. He can attack the rim. He also is more willing to take the lead and transition and create for others. And Bull wide open. He shoots. And again, the Clippers good for two. And the big fella knows how to score the basketball. Bowl's understanding of when to look for his is next level. Murray, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Royce O'Neal. 
And Smitty with DeJounte Murray, he's got great length at that guard position, and, and it can make him a menace defensively. Yes, it does. DeJounte Murray is 6'4", but has a 6'10 wingspan. Still very young and learning about defense, but his instincts off the chart. He could end up being one of the premier defenders in the league by the end of his deal. And it's crucial that Turner remains assertive like this because it's how he's going to get these calls. The Clippers shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. All three throws good from Turner. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. Here's Murray. Softly drops in the floater. Murray's got 11 in the second half. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Here's Thomas. The Clippers grab the miss. They've held a 12-point lead early. And there's the pass to Bull. To the middle. Here's Herter. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on DeJounte Murray. Well, this is what they want from Herter. Be assertive and make plays. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. San Diego trails by eight. Outside Jackson. One fifty-three left to play in the third. Here's Claxton, and it's sent back by Turner. Goes back up. Four on the clock. Clippers leading by eight. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Ball. Dishes it to Ball. One twenty-seven left in the third. There's the three. The Clippers keep it alive. This one for three. And no good that time. And it's Thomas with the ball. He brings it up for the serve. And Murray. Here we go. And it's Murray with the jam. And DeJounte is not holding back tonight. He is calling his own number. Pass to Horton Tucker. The ball with the bucket. And the Clippers lead by eight. That's just good basketball. Can't ask for a better look. 54 seconds left here in the third quarter. Collins dishes to Jackson. Now Bowl. Eight points for him. Outside ball. And Thomas over to help. Horton Tucker. The pass to Herter. And he overshot that one. Missing. San Diego trails by eight. Outside Jackson. Fires the three. Collins. Great positioning on the putback. They are just killing them on the interior. Definitely got to use the clock here and get the last shot. But you know, this is where your patience is tested. If you shoot too quickly, you give your opponent a chance to close out the quarter. Murray, good. Finding a soft spot in the belly of that defense. Murray taking full advantage. Oscar Horton Tucker. Now Turner. Here's Bull. And no good in the last second attempt this time. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game to watch. Clippers lead by four. We'll be And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter. Sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Kennard is out there with Randall. And there's Miles Turner. Then it's Ball. And it's Herter in at the two-guard spot. That's who's out there for the Clippers. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. But the truth is, those type of plays are going to happen. You just have to regroup mentally and get back to work. Here's Randall and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. 
A very good ball handler for his size. Randall catching the defender off guard. All free throws good from Randall. San Diego trails by four. And here's Jackson. Jones kicks to Collins. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got three assists in the game. Collins has gone 80% from the field, four of five shooting. And Jones over to help. Outside for Randall. Pass to Kennard. Clippers moving the ball around. Here's Turner. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, that was bound to get ugly. Turner is so assertive working inside. Defense got messy. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for the Clippers. Collins checked in for San Diego. Chris Middleton comes in for Jackson. Thomas against Kennard. And finished off by Collins. The agility, the hops, the great hands. Collins is the perfect alley oop partner. And, and some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. Kennard against Thomas. Yep, that one goes in there. And, and, you know, he's not usually the guy to break out the crossover. Worked for him that time, but I'm not sure I would be doing that consistently. And Randall throws it down. Nice find by Luke. Shows good vision in both half court and in transition. Here's the pass to Trent. And here's Collins. Passes to Trent. Six to shoot. And he banks in the layup. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. No one near Turner as he lets it go. Again, Los Angeles. What a beautiful look. Randall continues to round out his game in the prime of his career. Pass to Trent. Here's Middleton. Collins trying to break free. And here's the fast break. Randall leading it all the way. At the top of the key, Turner. Gordon trying to break loose. And Turner the bucket on the assist from Randall. Now it's a seven-point Clipper lead. Now San Diego with it. Outside Thomas. Back to Collins. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Randall's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Ball no good. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. Here's Trent, defended by Gordon. Trent passes to Collins. Shoots over ball. San Diego with another miss. Clippers leading by seven. Feeds it to Randall. And Jones over to help. Gordon with no one around. Not going to go that time. And the serve will come the other way. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That free throw good from Thomas. Los Angeles making a switch here. Curry's checked in. So he gets them both. Here's Curry. Kicks to Turner. Outside Gordon. A three ball. Shot clock at six. And Jones pulls it down. Jones has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Can you believe it? He's missed every shot he's taken. Yet this team still continues to hold the lead. Shots good by Middleton. This guy is a silky smooth operator on offense. Middleton can score effectively on all three levels. Here's Curry up and in on the layup. And the Clippers lead by five. 
and, and guys, all about hard work from this point on. They, they've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Middleton looking it over. On Spash Collins. Here's Trent, defended by Gordon. From outside the arc, Kennard with the rebound. Clippers leading by five. Handle with the ball. Now guarded by Middleton. Curry gets the bucket. Curry's got four points now in the quarter. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Pass to Middleton. Here's Trent. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. They get Stephen Curry, and he knocks down the first one. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. DeJounte Murray, he's checked in for Thomas. Curry against Murray. Curry kicks to Randall. Outside for Curry. Over Murray. Curry with another miss. San Diego trails by five. And the layup's good off the glass. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. It's the fourth quarter, and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. Middleton outside. Six on the shot clock. Fades again, San Diego. Rising to the occasion, he found a way to get himself open and get his shot. Working the mid-range, but you would think the defense would be keying on him. From 18 feet away, and Turner the bucket on the assist by Curry. Curry's got his seventh assist here tonight. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for San Diego. The pass to Trent. Here's Middleton. Kennard covering. Murray for three. Hits it from three-point range. Murray's got 18 points now here in the second half. It's enough to where you have to respect him. Had one triple in the first half. Now has his second. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. San Diego trails by four. Jones dishes to Middleton. Back to Jones. Shoots over Turner. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Here's Gordon. It's hauled in by Trent. Here's the surf now. Murray, good. And it's 29 points for DeJounte Murray. You won't see this young man turn down big shots. Murray believes in himself, and so does this team. Curry against Murray. The shot from 20 feet away. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. And so it's the surf with it. Trailing by two. Here's Trent. Here's Collins. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. As usual, beasting inside. John Collins puts defenders in no-win situations. And it's tied up with that one. And here is Los Angeles now. They double-team Kerr. And stolen by Murray. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Murray's got 31 points. Curry against Murray. They double team Curry. Gordon for three. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his eighth assist in the game. This is where Curry's excellent. Ball in hand, making decisions. And it's Middleton penetrating, and he lays it straight in. 
Middleton's got 25 points. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overtime in this one. It's been that kind of a game. Kennard, the pass to Kirk. Let's it go from deep. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Curry's got 11 points in the quarter. Just another reason why we have to love Stephen Curry. His ability to provide baskets in key situations. Middleton is doubled. Here's Trent, defended by Gordon. Kicks it out to Cowan. It's good from long range. Amazing. The growth of Collins seems to know no limits. Curry dishes to Randall. Back to Curry. Let's the three fly. Gets it to go from beyond the up. Curry's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Clippers. Murray against Curry. Murray, the pass to Middleton. There's another block. Making his presence felt on this end. He's holding down the fort, anchoring the defense. Outside curve. Kicks it out to Gordon. Middleton against Kinnor. Takes a three. Knocks down the trifecta. Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Timeout called here. The surf will talk it over. They're behind by three. 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Julius Randle. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Kevin, the head coach of the surf had some words for his team during that timeout. This is a close game, as you know, and he sounded extremely confident. He told the players, don't let up now, fellas. This is when we make our move, right now. Kevin? And they do have a foul to get. A timeout called here. The surf will talk it over. They're trailing by two. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? And they've got plenty of time to get a basket. But I'm curious to see, will they go for a two to tie or a three to win it all? Middleton against Kinnor. Fires the three. Bullseye! And this is why he gets paid the big bucks. Middleton enjoys coming through in the clutch. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're down by one. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And, and guys, it all comes down to this. One shot to win the game. They have just enough time to run a play that'll lead to a catch and shoot here on the inbound. Maybe one quick pass and then get it up. So San Diego wins it. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, and Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.